Hello everyone, today is September 5th. Um, it's the morning. I just woke up not too long ago, so my makeup is like down to here. Um, but I have a really busy day coming up and a really busy weekend. So I wanted to make this video, um, before the day got any older and then I ran out of time. And so, this video is my, sort of my... 28 week slash 29 week update. Also, I will tell you about um, my like medical labs and stuff just because I know there's some people that watch this that um, are kind of in the same position as far as having an eating disorder and like maybe getting pregnant one day or maybe already are or whatever. Um, or if you're just curious to know what happens to blood counts and things when you <laughs> are pregnant. Um, so, and I'll also tell you a little bit about my trip, so, but it's not going to be super long. Um, so yeah, I'm 28 weeks and 6 days, um, or 7 days, like, the days roll over either on Friday or Saturday, depending on if you're looking at my app or at what I was told, so I rolled them over on Saturday, so I'll be 29 weeks tomorrow. Um, I turned 28 weeks last Saturday when I was in Hawaii, and the trip was good. Um, I got a little bit of color, but you can't really tell in this video. Um, but I did end up in the ER a week ago today, um, because I was having cramping in my lower back, which didn't turn out to be anything, or well, I don't know, they couldn't, they couldn't discover the reason. And, um, really bad digestive issues. Basically, like, I couldn't go to the bathroom, I couldn't go to the bathroom, and then I couldn't stop going to the bathroom, and then I couldn't go to the bathroom again, so, like, it's really gross. There's really gross things that happen with pregnancy, so I should just buy stock and prune juice, like I said on my blog, <laughs> which I'll link below in case you want to read it. Okay, so that was the trip, but it was really good. It was relaxing, and uh, normally I'm really active on vacation, but I had to lay by the pool. <laughs> I know, tough life, right? But I'm actually really bad at that. I was, like, I was bored. But it was fun anyway, so we did a lot of stuff. And I saw some sea turtles, and they were really cute. And I took a picture with some parrots and my sister. <laughs> so it was fun. Um, okay, so as far as what's going on in 28 weeks and 29 weeks. Oh my god, I'm so achy. Like, my back really aches. And... Like, when I sleep now, I sleep mostly on my left side because they tell you to. But, like... My left leg, like, my hip and my femur and stuff, it really hurts by the time it's, like, 3 or 4 in the morning. Like, and I roll over to the other side, but that leg still hurts. I don't know what's up with that. It's, like, down the outside, so I think it's from sleeping on that side. Um, and I've been getting nosebleeds sometimes. My nose is really stuffy. Um, I can breathe, but it's, like, stuffy still. And so I think I'm just getting nosebleeds from, like, blowing my nose so much. And it's dry. Like, Oregon is kind of dry, despite the fact that it rains a lot here. <laughs> so we just came from Hawaii where it was really humid, and then I came back and immediately started getting nosebleeds. So I think my nose is just really dry inside. But that's fine. Um, I think baby is growing because I'm starving all the time. And I hate that. Um, I haven't been able to do Zumba since... 26 weeks or 20 yeah I don't know I think I made a video about that for you guys so whenever that was a few weeks ago um and I haven't really been able to work out much and honestly I went to do Zumba one day the other day because they say exercise gets your digestive tract going and so I went and did Zumba and it really didn't feel good like I ache so I probably can't do Zumba even if I wanted to but I'm gonna ask I have an appointment today I'm going to ask if I can do the elliptical, just because the last time I did that, it really didn't hurt that much, or at all, actually. Um, so I'm going to ask if I can try that and see if I'm cleared for that, if everything's okay when they check everything. So, um, yeah, I had blood work done on Wednesday. I didn't get all of it back, but um, I'd been having some, like, pain, not pain, just, like, my chest felt funny, like right here. Uh, my phosphorus dropped by 0.9%. So it was 3.9 to 3.0, and the range is 2.3 to 4.7 or something. So my naturopath wants it over 
three and a half, I think. So it's not like flagged by the lab or anything like that, and I've seen it much lower, but that might explain why I was feeling that, just because it was a pretty quick drop. So, um, and then my ferritin is at 20, up from 13. The range is 10 to 290, so. And then my thyroid's fine, but I'm still waiting on the CBC, the complete metabolic panel, and the iron. So we'll find out about that. Um, but I don't really anticipate any major problems with those. Um, my blood pressure. Every time I'm at the OB, they take my blood pressure right after I've been on the scale. And after I've been like running like to the bathroom to leave a pee sample and then to the... No, that's backwards. To the scale, then to the bathroom, and then back to the room. And they take it like right away. And so of course it's higher because I'm like anxious from the scale and moving around. And like, so I'm getting blood pressure readings of like 113 over 75 or something. And I'm like, that's weird. I don't normally have blood pressure like that. So on Wednesday, my naturopath took my resting blood pressure when I'd been sitting for five minutes or more. It was like five or ten minutes I'd been sitting. And it was like 86 over 50. <laughs> I was like, that sounds better. I mean, more correct for me because my blood pressure is always really low. So um, I guess I'm not showing any signs of preeclampsia. That's good. Today I have an appointment at the OB at 1.30. And I'm getting my one-hour glucose test to check for gestational diabetes. So I have to drink this like bottle of stuff. Maybe I should make a video of me drinking it. That would be really funny because I think I'm going to make a really funny face. We'll see. I have to drink this bottle of basically sugar water. And then an hour later get my blood tested to check if I have a s likelihood for gestational diabetes. So, Which sometimes can present without symptoms, so I suppose it's possible. Um... What else? That's all. I mean, as far as that goes. Um, when I was in Hawaii, I had really bad anxiety. If you read my blog, you will see what I mean. Like, I was really, really anxious. Like, everything, like, every time the baby didn't move for, like, a while, I was, like, freaking out. And I really didn't anticipate that. I mean, I know I have, I've had anxiety my whole life. And, like... Ever since I was little, 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 I've had anxiety. And so I wasn't surprised to find that I was anxious, but I wasn't expecting to be that anxious. So, But I feel much better being home, closer to my doctors. So, But the um, hospital people in Hawaii were really nice, so I guess that's good. But um, yeah, and then one other funny thing to tell you guys. So, as I mentioned, I'm having digestive problems. So I got some prune juice. It's not that bad. It doesn't taste that bad. And I drank, so I, we brought it home, and Corky was standing there, and he's like, I sniffed the juice. I was like, it smells okay. And he's like, have you ever had prune juice? And I was like, no. And then I took a sip, and I was like, I lied! I've had it! And I must have been really little, because I just, like, had this memory of, like, this flavor, and I couldn't place it. So then yesterday, that was two nights ago, so then yesterday I said to my mom, she was over, I was like, Mom, did you ever give me prune juice when I was little? And she was like, yeah. How did you know that? You were really little. She only gave it to me one time. It was after a trip to Hawaii, interestingly, when I got sick and then blah, blah, blah. I was just a little over two years old. <laughs> and I remembered it somehow. Like, the, the memory was familiar. Uh, the taste, I mean. And I remembered... I had, a, like, a connection with that taste to when I was in preschool, which I started when I was two. So... I didn't know how young I was in that, but isn't that weird, the things we remember? So, anyway, I got the light prune juice, of course, because I didn't want to drink 170 calories per cup. <laughs> anyway, so, I'm going to put my 28-week picture at the end. If you want to read my blog, I'm going to link it below. Um, and that's all. So, hopefully I'll be able to make a video for you soon, and I'll make a video if I make funny faces drinking that drink. <laughs> Anyway, if I don't talk to you, have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye.